Welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. I'm Steve. I'm here today with John and Britt or Britton. Uh, either is fine. Okay. Here. Mike. Yo. And God damn it. <laughs> okay, so, it? How's it going? so lep- lepreco- <laughs> leprechauns are commonly named what? Leprechauns are commonly named Patrick. what? Patrick. Yes. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> God damn it. I really thought I was going to get all the names today. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you stuff. drinking, Mike? <laughs> I am drinking uh, from uh, the Coronado Brewing Company, which is a solid brewery. Um, and they're a little bit, you know, not quite That's as... That's a good clue, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Every now and then I come up with something witty. Uh, Coronado Brewing Company... Uh, in Coronado, California, if you don't know what Coronado is, is because Coronado's kind of like not real. It's a city, but it's technically San Diego. It's San Diego. It's this little it's island. An island. It's an island, but it's like San Coronado is kind of like San Beverly Hills. Yeah, sure, it's its own thing, but really it's Hollywood. You know what I mean? Like, it's the same thing. That's the way I see Coronado. Anyways, I would say that's the place where the seals. They do, yeah. They, they got their, yeah, they got their they, thing they, there too. But there's Coronado, and like every person who has an incredible amount of money lives on there too. I stayed at the haunted room in the Hotel Del Coronado. Yeah, how was that? Wow. Not haunted. Not haunted. So uh, like completely very, boring. You, you very sl- disappointing. You slept like a baby. Woke up in the morning. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah. And mm-hmm. I'd be pissed too, to be honest, especially for the price of that. There was a premium. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I paid for some ghosts. Did not get a ghost? <laughs> you at least one. Yeah. for your money back. Like, I paid for a ghost, I didn't get a ghost. ghost right? They gave me champagne, so uh, I was pacified. <laughs> <laughs> I would at least hope for, like, an extra, like, amount of money. Like, one of the genders in the middle of the night would just get some chain and hit it against the door right? or something. <laughs> clang, clang, a little bit of walk effort. away. <laughs> but, I mean, they seemed to truly believe, so maybe they didn't think they needed to go through the effort. Okay. I think they thought something was going to happen. But those things only happen when a believer is present. Mm. I see. Gee, I wonder why that is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm not a believer in any way in that kind of stuff. But I think it's possible, but that's a completely different show altogether. Yeah, tonight we're talking about. <laughs> tonight we are talking about. So, so I, I kind, I wanted to talk about this, um, mostly because of a comment Riley made, who is not here tonight, but rats. Um. Not just his comments, comments like his before, uh, when we were talking about the family last week and the week before. Right, right, right. right. And he had mentioned collectivism and how not all collectivism is wrong. And I got to disagree. I think, um, I don't think all community is wrong. I don't think society is wrong. Humans are a social creature we need society we need community i think even uh family structure geared more around community rather than blood is so far i'll stop you when i think you're horribly wrong (laughs) (laughs) appreciate that (laughs) i think i think i think that's pot that's a good structure Mm -hmm. i don't think that that's collectivism okay Okay. The difference between individualism and collectivism to me is that in indivi- in the in the philosophy of individualism, the individual is is where is is uh, supreme uh, personal sovereignty, for instance. Uh, people should be should be treated as individuals rather than a member of a group, for mm-hmm. instance. Um, in collectivism, by contrast, you have uh, group identity, and the group is supreme. Right. And I think that there's fundamentally a problem with that. Uh, uh, for instance, I think statism is the ultimate uh, iteration of collectivism. Right. Expression, every, yeah, that's every what I'm saying. iteration of collectivism involves a despot of one sort or another. Oh, yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. So because... there's the problem right there. Um, and you're talking to, you know, uh, 
registered Democrat here. <laughs> like, <laughs> to I totally get it. Like I, I was telling John the other day, I said, uh, you know, I, I, I've discovered that I'm not actually an anarchist or a minarchist or a libertarian. I'm actually a monarchist as long as I'm the king. <laughs> and I'm cool with you being king as long as you're not king over me. <laughs> or anybody else who doesn't want to be, want you as king. Yeah. <laughs> So do you have like a scepter and orb and everything that you like kind of keep in the closet for special occasions or? I, you know what? I, I use symbols to their fullest extent uh, whenever <laughs> possible. Um, the holy hand yeah. grenade, of course, right? Yeah. The holy hand grenade. The royal PR. I definitely try to use uh, divine and sacred geometry to power over my children all the time. <laughs> um, that, is, that is something that just needs to be happening. Mm -hmm. um, Hey, you know, there's no reason not to abuse the power that's there. Um, you know, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, maybe I'm playing devil's advocate. Like, 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 a little bit. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, like the tools are there. Uh, you know. I don't know. Um, I, I'm actually very torn on this um, mm -hmm. uh, because um, individualism is awesome. And I completely agree with it. But inevitably, what I always see happening is as soon as power is gained by any individual, it becomes collectivism, always. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. they have to further exert their influence of whatever their individual preferences are. And that's, that's when it crosses over to the dark side, uh, <laughs> if you will. Yeah. You know? um, so, I mean, like, could, could it be used for like beneficial purposes? Yeah, absolutely. But like, then you always have the problem of is it really beneficial to everyone? You know, so it, it can be used for beneficial purposes, but you risk uh, eventually at one point or another somebody. We don't know is where we always yeah. have a problem though. Who benefits? Mm -hmm. When you say uh, it can be beneficial, Thank you beneficial for who? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I think if we look at it through a political lens, it's easy to be polarized, right? So, like, the term collectivism would raise the hair on the back of my neck uh, when I look at it purely through a political lens. Like, where do rights? How do we make, how do we uh, uh, address uh, rights and things of this nature? But if you look at it just from a sociological perspective. Sociological, yeah. and just see how does a particular group manage its affairs, or how do they organize? And individualism uh, is uh, a smaller unit, families or whatever. Uh, whereas collectivism, the, the units could be larger. But it's still family, organizational, in the exchange for loyalty. The, the uh, which would say seed some of their their rights, if you will. And if it's under a voluntary construct, and the individual still is recognized as uh, where rights originate, then collectivism loses its negative part. I don't see it as necessarily mutually exclusive. Uh, I think that the 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 East is naturally more collectivist than the West, and the West is more individualist. And they both, when taken to an extreme, go bad. So it's, it's more or less two elements that we both need to embrace both, if that makes some sense. Yeah. yeah like, no, I, we I, need to take care of our elderly. We need to course, take care yeah. of our young, right? Mm -hmm. and, and not saying that yeah, when, you, when you organize as a group and you, you're, you're making sure you're not throwing away the older way, early, you're taking care of the you're young, mm -hmm. that's a form of, of collectivism. Not through a political sense where we're looking at you know, top-down planning and, and forcing everybody under a, a specific model, but just uh, what happens when we go too far on the individualist side? We end up losing perspective. As much as if you're too much into the cat into the collectivist side. Mm -hmm. See, I don't see that. I, I don't see individualism and collectivism as a, 
as a sliding scale, though. I see it as opposing uh, philosophies, whereas it within individualism, you can have communal organization and society as long as you recognize the supremacy of the individual. Tracking on you. But there are organizations that, that, that assess uh, cultures, and the individualism is a sliding scale, literally. So, and maybe it's my observation of that that helped me change, or helped me not be so polarized by the terms individualism versus collectivism, mm -hmm. and more uh, how, how individualist is a specific culture, for instance. Or, you know, I, I or Western, that, Western cultures are more individualist than, than 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 Eastern cultures, but it's not like one hundred and one hundred. You know, there's a yes. you know, there's a, a way to define how they organize. Stalin's saying is it's not necessarily mutually exclusive, right? And I think there's something to learn from both, and you can incorporate both. I think if I, we get if we get trapped into this either or then you can end up being polarized on either end and it can be a negative. There can be negative. But I think I think the problem arises when you bring violence into the into yeah. the equation. Concur. Yeah. Um, for instance, How, however, you could have a collectivist society or an individual society where there is no violence and it's still you're you're lost in fucking internal la 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 land or even external la la land as an individual and not and, and, and Completely not observing how your your act your actions affect others, or not taking care of, yeah. of the people in your community. Yeah, because who is the ultimate individualist? Is a sociopath, right? Yeah, it's essentially, I, I could I could run with that. I can see that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, well. Yeah. Maybe now maybe you go into Jungian yeah. psychology and whatnot. That's a whole other story, right? You know, because they're not actualized. They're not individuated. But essentially, yeah. Yeah, I mean, just end result speaking, you know, from their actions, right. you know, um, but I mean, I think that's where the, you know, any good sociopath will know that the power is in collectivism, you know, <laughs> the power is in influencing large groups to your bidding. And so I, I don't, right now we're being super abstract, but I mean, I think that maybe, you know, and I don't even know what issue to bring up, but you could examine any current issue that we have based on, you know, these apparently diametrically opposed Ideas, viewpoints, yeah. but, um, I mean, maybe not so, but, um, yeah, I think that that, I don't know, I know if I was watching well, this, I'd be like, well, what are you talking about, really? You're being super philosophical, but let's look at, you know, a real-life case bring it, here. Bring it to the concrete. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be gun control, but it could be gun control. It could be care of the elderly. It could be the environment. Yeah, when you take it in a political realm, then we're talking about power, which is socializing, we have to be, we're trying to go power distance. How do people relate with people of a power, greater power differential? For instance, again, Eastern cultures won't buck the system so much. Western cultures, specifically Americans, have very little tolerance for power differential. A, a boss who's, you know, an irate asshole is less, has less of a chance of staying there in the U.S. as an example than he does in the East. Because sure. they'll, just, they'll just take it. They'll just because they see it as a structure of, like, it's part of the pyramid, it's part of the hierarchy, and this is respect. Right. You know, um, raises are based on tenure, not on job performance or anything like that. Which, I, in a sense, there's a beauty in that, too. You know, really. Well, is yeah. that is that um, is are those two cultures really uh, that much opposed? Though I'd see it more as two different approaches to creating slaves. Mm. <laughs> that that's how well I said. see it. Very well said. I, I see a lot of it comes down to when you talk about Western culture versus Eastern culture. Yeah. yeah. Western culture primarily gets its its slave mentality from the oppression system. And 
the East gets it from their their system of of uh, honor. Uh, I'm, I I know where where that or originates from, but I would be the scholar for that. Confucianism. Yeah, Confucianism. Yeah. Right. I would I would go out on and say right at this point, Confucianism. They are Confucianism is about uh, rituals for the sake of ritual, right? So it's like a whole bunch of social constructs that you uh, that you enjoy for the sake of making things work. Concerning the beauty of you know how a collective system works, I mean that's you know you could say the same about how the statism model works and. Or the religious model works. You can say, well, there, there's a certain beauty to how that works, but ultimately we know that that's there. There are a lot better ways to, to do things. I think that's why individualism is, is better because you have that option to um, get into that system or or no. Mm -hmm. um, uh, another thing that I think you choose what what system of organization works best for you. Has exactly. there been an individualism? Right. Has there been a functioning individualistic system since we were like anarchic agrarian hunter gatherers? You know, like has there been a functioning system of that? I mean, because certainly what we have here in the West now is not individualistic. It may have the guise of that in certain areas, but right. it's certainly oppressive collectivism. Well, anytime that finest. you might have personally benefited from individualism, you know, just, you know, you decided to do something on your own in any area of your life, that's that's where the benefit is. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it could be argued that the early American system was as individualistic. As, so we were once free? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, the American West, right, really? rugged oh, okay. the, the idea of rugged individualism, you, you can shoot that down, but I think that there's a thread of truth in it in the early American founding before the Prussian system started destroying that. You know, I, there's a, there's freedom on the frontiers, there's that, you know, that the farther you go out there because you're, you know, you're not so much in this area where there's more people and, and more rules and stuff like that, there's more individualism because you have to be more individualistic to, you know, a lot of situations like that to live. You know, you have to be able to live by yourself, know how to make these things all by yourself and all that, but I think where a lot of the danger comes in is, is in, um, uh, it's in language how we speak uh, a lot, uh, I've noticed. I mean, not all the time. I'm not saying you can never use the word we. I'm not saying that. Because like <laughs> we were saying earlier, we were saying like we should take care of, of, of the elderly. You're saying we because it's obligatory. It's universal. Almost, you know, almost everybody you talk to will agree with that. Yeah, I should probably not, take care of grandma and grandpa. Not obligatory. Well, almost. <laughs> you know, not completely, of course. But, you know, almost. Like everybody's kind of like, oh, yeah, I should probably take care of grandma and grandpa. But there's, I mean... We's thrown out in <clears throat> modern culture, like you know, like cheap candy on Halloween. Yeah, like it's just we's thrown out and everything. I mean, you know, to we not the people. Yeah, to not get like too philosophical on it. We kick the Nazis ass. We kick the Nazis yeah. ass. I mean, right. I I didn't get a text in the morning saying I got to go to France and you know what was it the Doug Stanhope thing? Yeah. <laughs> you know, helping the invasion of Verdun. I was not alive at the time. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, I mean, what we did is get drunk and watch sports bloopers. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah. So the, I think we should shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, goes, so goes the fit. But um, you know, I mean, uh, a, lo a lot of things. You know, we we think of groups and we and we, uh, you know, put people in certain groups without obviously talking to all the individuals that we classify in that group, and that's impossible to do. But we do it, and so that's the thing you got to be careful about. I mean, here's a. You know, this is a little bit more of a philosophical notion, but I think most people would be able to connect it to what we're talking about. It's not too crazy. But there's no such thing as a forest. It's just a group of trees. It's just individual <laughs> trees. We call it a forest because it's uh, a forest. That's the term we've come up for it. But there's really no such things as that. That's just like a grouping we've come up in our heads. A just a real term. Could you yeah. <laughs> extrapolate that further and say that there's no such thing as a tree? You just have, you know, trunk and roots and yeah. branches and well, 
Uh, okay, with the trees. Okay, all right, all right, 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 right. So with the trees specifically. Yeah, the system the cells and. Yeah, with the trees specifically, you can do that because there is no man, nervous system. Atoms. There's no nervous system in a tree. But if it was a mammal, you could say no. That is a collective thing because they all interact in a certain way in order to do things that get a message from the brain box, right? Dude, you've not seen Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's more cells in your body that aren't genetically you. Yes, I've got I've got lots of bacteria that help me digest dairy sort of <laughs> um, but yeah it, it's it's that sort of it, that that collective language it can, can can get dangerous really quick we need to stop isis we need to uh say something if we see something you know all this sort of stuff well who's 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 this we well everybody who's here that's that's the implication but who are the Britons? Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, all, all, all I vote for you. All this sort of <laughs> stuff is like that's where that's where the trouble comes in. I mean, you you see, but anybody on the TV, just like ninety nine percent of your politicians, we 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 should do this. We as Americans, we as the population, we like every like debate everything. We's thrown out more than I is. You never hear I. I mean, every now and then you hear one of the politicians say, "I believe this," hey, but, it's, hey, hey. but it's Obama killed Osama bin Laden. Personally, <laughs> personally, he killed. You know, but even if they say "I believe this," it's usually followed with "I believe we should," right? Yeah. You know, so I mean, it, it you have to be careful with how you you know. Because sometimes, especially like, you know... We uh, need to balance the budget. Yeah, we need yeah. to. Because I'm a member of Congress and I can write a bill real quick and send them out to them and have them approve it. I'm not, you know, I can't, I don't have any control over that really. Sure, I could vote for somebody, but there it is again. We. How is it that we get to decide that somebody gets to tell other people what to do? And to me, it, it, a lot of it just comes down, comes down to language and... English is really tricky like that in particular, right? I mean, English has got a lot of things going on there where it's really easy to throw a we in there. Uh, there I mean, there, uh, what is it? Spanish, it's really hard to, uh, in certain situations, it's really hard to say that we did something. You almost have to say that those two did something. Like, I see you're saying something about this at one point or another. It's kind of well, like, you can say something was done. Right. You know, you know it's interesting how, how it's not just that... Uh, we shape our language, but language shapes our right. outlook too. Mm -hmm. For instance, in in English, you might say that so and so. Uh, uh, I don't know, robbed somebody. Right. In Spanish, though, the way you would say it is more like Someone somebody robbed. got robbed. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So you don't have that. Not okay. So here, here's another that idea of blame, mm -hmm. so, so to speak. Here's another way of looking at that too right so the west which gave birth to empiricism and individualism and a bunch of great things uh we the west look at ourselves and say our first name and then a given name and our family name we generally write the date from day month year uh, addresses street number city state City kind of state, you know, it expands yeah. out from out. We yeah. count one, two, three, four. You know, you go to the east, and where it's more of a collectivist thought, and they count one, two, three, they bring it into themselves from out to in. They addresses state, county, city, street, and then the person it's going to, right? Mm. The date is year, month, day. It's like completely from. It, so it just shows you like, like how it shapes uh, us, right? It shapes yeah. the way we think. Right. Right? Family name, then first name. Family name, then first name. I'm really glad, I'm really glad you brought that up. Of course, is that, it the first name if you say it second? Because it's just it's little things that have gotten Of course, that's not just in the East either. Yeah. Uh, in, in Europe, uh, particularly in Eastern Europe, it's the same way. So... You were about the same way. Oh yeah, I was just saying. Sorry. It, it, you know, no, 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 don't worry about it. Actually, you guys, you guys were kind of a, yeah. on a good point there. But it's it's the little things that have kind of like really shaped the way we are with stuff, isn't it? I mean, it's just from everything we were we we were we, when we were told from like little kids, and we we've talked about school and stuff in the past. That you know, it's okay. Well, so hey, class, we are gonna do this if you're in public school. Okay, so what's the class? Okay, you can understand you're part of the class. Okay, that's the, that's the grouping you're in. That's not, I mean, it's collectivist, but it's not 
it's not one of those like broad like brushstroke things. It's like, okay, these are people around me. I'm in this class. But hey class, we are. Okay, so are you like how is it that you can say that we are all going to do this? What if one of the kids doesn't want to do it? Maybe one of the kids is gonna leave in five minutes, you know, then the, all right, <laughs> so I, I guess it's just, I'm going to cut this short and just say, be careful using the word we. That's <laughs> yeah. an incredibly dangerous word all the way from... from the royal we. Yeah, the royal, you know, I mean, it's an incredibly <laughs> dangerous word to, to, to use, a, you know, a couple examples from Western history, all the way from, uh, you know, uh, Caesar saying that we have to defend Rome from the Gauls to uh, we have to defend Europe from the Muslims. Yeah let's go get a crusade to we have to stop the Jews from taking over Europe. Hitler said that, you know, I mean, all this sort of stuff. I mean, we is thrown out like in so many ways. Now those damn Mexicans. I, I really, yeah, yeah, exactly. They're, I mean, no, seriously, that, that's a real good example. I mean, fucking you've got Donald Trump. Who's Some of running, them are probably good guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I mean, you've got Donald Trump running for president. He ain't right. going to, he ain't going to win. And he sure as hell ain't going to build a wall, but it sure as hell gets people to listen to him. But we have to keep the Mexicans out. Okay, I'm not going to build a wall. I'm I'm not going to go build a wall. You're not going to go build a wall. Nobody here is going to build a wall. And bet for damn sure, most people voting for Donald Trump aren't going to build a fucking wall either. So, you know, this whole we thing is just like, it's in this incredible fucking, like, dome that they put on top of your head of like, okay, well, so ignore any of that thing about I and I should and I want to and I want to live my life and do what I want to do. We, 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 we. By the way, right Mike, the worst offenders of the fucking we are sports fans. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> we beat the yeah. wrong guys. <laughs> so we is bad to the individualist, right? I mean, to yeah. the collectivist. You know, we's probably a really good word. Yeah. I mean, we is yeah. bad to the collectivist, too, because it's the Kool-Aid. Mm -hmm. That's what we is. We is the fucking Kool-Aid. So unless you're sitting in the throne, uh, we is a great word if you're in the throne. Cool. But, I mean, for someone like me, like, where I can still find myself wanting to, like, vote for Bernie Sanders, for example, um, I look at it and I go collectively we as a, a race as a species have developed the ability to feed house and clothe every single person on planet earth why the fuck don't we do that yeah. you know what i mean that there's where my like that's so, my kryptonite it's it, like there's where i go why don't we right. start making these mandates right, so, and saying, so i can remember that right like i, I being a volunteerist i've come to a point where i'm not polarized by the terms individualism and collectivism, right? And I would like to get to a place. I'm not worried about space travel now or fucking NASA or this other shit because we're busy. I want to go to Mars, Sean. We're, we're fucking... I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. You want to go to Mars, I'm though, because you're like, fuck this shit. <laughs> kind of. I'm sorry, John. Where are you we're still going? fucking the planet up, right? Mm -hmm. you know, and, and we're not mature enough to go out in the fucking, into the fucking cosmos, right? So you're right, I'm not. I would just think... Until we can fucking time. sort out our shit. Who's we? We. We, yeah. <laughs> we, the human race in this case, right? We humans can... can stop fucking things up on our fucking mother planet here uh we're not fit for space travel i i would like to think that we evolve to a point where we're fully voluntarist and more broadly aware and that uh a few people could get ahead uh, get on the global scene and make a case for crowdsourcing space travel and then we the people would fucking do it, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and that would be a collective action, right? So it's not, uh, and it doesn't mean it has to be done coercively or through some kind of uh, sure. power mechanism. It's just because it fucking makes sense, right? And that is how I feel about right. it. Right, and, and so I'm not polarized by these things. And at that point in time, I'm sure there'll be fucking robots on Mars to go with you. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, somebody's got to keep me company and, you know, tame. <laughs> what do you mean by company? <laughs> well, um, well, I'm hoping that these robots that are accompanying me on my spaceship to Mars are at least of a... At least, <laughs> or at least of a... Of, of a feminine form of some sort, so I don't, you know, but uh, they're robots. maybe they can they have extra have accessories sex. that you can, you know, snap on. <laughs> snap on, he snap says. Off. Snap on, snap off. Snap on, he says. 
we uh, yeah, that, there we go. So, yeah. so are we done with the show? I think we I are. I think we're <laughs> done with the show. I stole my thunder. Oh no, don't worry about it. <laughs> Have a good night. We are done Peace with out. the show. Good night. <laughs>